For the best and the coolest FIFA 20 and football merch, check out our website down in the description for the cheapest and the best quality you can ever get. Yo, what's going on guys, Y5K, welcome to a new formation review on FIFA 20. Now today we are looking for one of the most overboard formations at the moment, which is going to be the 4-2-2-2. Now if you know me, you know that I am a big fan of the 4-2-3-1 and I have used it since FIFA 18 and to be honest, I really enjoyed it since day 1. Now on the start of FIFA 20, I did not like the 4-2-2-2 at all, but it turns out if you use the right custom tactics and player instructions, it could be the best formation you will ever for use on FIFA 20. Now on the last weekend league of foot champs I did hit my best record ever on FIFA 20 which is Elite 2 using this formation for the first time. Now sadly I don't have footage for that so yeah I might be just lying to you. No but for real for the last weekend league I did hit Elite 3, Elite 2 or might be Gold 1. But if you use this player instructions and custom tactics that I will use show you, trust me this formation is so overboard in game. Now before jumping into the best player instructions and custom tactics, if you are not around here don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated. And kindly don't forget to check out our store for amazing FIFA 20 merch down in the description. Now let's jump into the best player instructions and custom tactics. I know my accent is not the easiest thing to understand, but I will try my best and I will give you examples for everything. I need you to listen to every word I say and trust me, I really mean it. For example, for the right attacking mid, we won't be using a normal center attacking mid. We need a player that has got good defending stats and so on. Now let's jump into the best player instructions and start off with the defense. Now for the defense, nice and easy, everyone should stay back while attacking with your right back and left back as well. Now for the left defending mid, you need a good center defending mid with good base, like Angolo Kante, Fabino, Rijkaard and not Sergio Busquets. For his instructions, he should stay back while attacking and cover center. And for the right defending mid, you should have a player that has got really good all-rounded stats. For example, you can go with Wijnaldum, Frankie de Jong or Alan. I think you know what I mean. And for his instructions, he should cover center only. Now for your right attacking mid, we will be using him more than a defending center mid than a center or attacking mid. And he will be helping you on the defense more than the attack. I will show you some gameplay and I will explain everything for you. So I reckon a player that has got at least 4 star skill moves with good attacking and defending stats. For example, you can go with Paul Bogba, Kevin De Bruyne or Daily Ali. And for the instructions, we will be using free room only for the right attacking mid. Now moving on into the left attacking mid and for your left attacking mid, you need a player that has got good pace because we will be using him as a left wing more than a center attacking mid. Now of course you can use a formation that has got a left wing or a left mid and change the formation in the start of the match. Or you can use a striker that has got good pace and can play as a left wing like Marcos Rashford, Kylian Mbappe or Insigne. And the instructions for the left attacking mid, he should stay forward and free room. Trust me, this player is so important, so that's why you need a good ass player. He might score goals more than your main striker. Now moving on into the strikers, of course you have a right striker and left striker. Let's start things up with a right striker. You need a player that can play as a center attacking mid and as a striker as well. And what I mean about that, you need a player that has got good shooting, dribbling and passing at the same time. And for the right striker, base is not the most important thing because we will be using him as a center forward more than a striker with this player instructions. So that's why you can go with Wissam Binyadar, Roberto Firmino or Son, they will be perfect for a right striker on this formation. And for the player instructions, he should play as a false nine because like I said, we will be using him as a center forward more than a main striker. Now moving on into the left striker, who is going to be the main striker on this formation? So you need a player that has got good base and and good striker overall. And of course on FIFA 20 we have a lot of high rated strikers with good base so you have a lot and a lot of options to choose from. Anyway guys this was the best player instructions for the 4-2-2-2. Trust me use this player instructions you won't regret it. Now moving on into the custom tactics starting off with defensive style. Now defensive style should be balanced and for me with any formation that I play with I always use balance. Even if I want to switch it to defensive or ultra defensive I don't use drop back at all. I don't like 
like it on FIFA 20 at all. Now width should be at 5 or 6 and depth should be at 4. Now offensive side should be balanced. Now if you wanna attack you should change it to fast build up or if you wanna defense you should change it to position. But most of the times it should be balanced and you will be good to go. Width should be at 6 and bears in the box should be at 6 or 7 with corners and free kicks should be at 3. Anyway guys this was the best player instructions and custom tactics to use for the 4-2-2-2 at the moment on FIFA 20. Trust me it's one of the best defensive formations you will ever get on FIFA 20. Now I will show you some gameplay using this player instructions and custom tactics. Now as you can see here this is what I meant when I said your right attacking mid will be helping you on the defense more than the attack. As you can see my right attacking mid staying at the back in the middle of my right center defending mid and left center defending mid. So that's why you need a player that has got good defending stats to play as a right attacking mid. And this is another example but the sign for the attack. As you can see here my left attacking mid who is Zenidine Zidane was playing like a left wing and running down the wing. And like you can see here my right striker who is Hernan Crespo was playing like a center forward more than a striker. And for the left striker who is the main striker on this formation he was just trying to get in behind. Anyway guys I hope this video was helpful for you. I tried my best and explained everything for you and if you have any questions just tell me on the comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and tell me on the comment below what do you want to see next. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.